The fossils provide evidence of the final primate species that inhabited North America before the arrival of humans. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into a fascinating subject involving the recent findings of paleontologists from the University of Kansas and the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing. Their research has been published in the Journal of Human Evolution, shedding new light on the intriguing story of Ekmoe Chashala, the last primate to inhabit North America before the arrival of Homo sapiens or Clovis people. To unravel this tale, the scientists embarked on the task of reconstructing Ekmoe Chashala's family tree, which was aided by the discovery of an even more ancient Chinese relative called Paleohodites. This remarkable fossil finding from China has finally resolved the enigma surrounding Ekmoe Chashala's presence in North America, revealing that it was not a product of local evolution, but rather an immigrant. And so, without further delay, let us embark on our discussion. The tale of Ekmoe Chashala, the last primate to inhabit North America prior to the arrival of Homo sapiens, or Clovis people, bears a striking resemblance to a classic spaghetti western. A weathered and enigmatic loner, defying all odds, manages to survive on the vast American plains. Around 30 million years ago, during the Eocene-Oligocene transition, when North America experienced significant cooling and drying, the continent became less inviting to primates that thrived in warm climates. In a recent publication in the Journal of Human Evolution, researchers from the University of Kansas and the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology in Beijing have presented compelling evidence regarding the enduring mystery of Ekmo Wechashala. This evidence is derived from the examination of fossil teeth and jaws discovered in both Nebraska and China, providing valuable insights. In order to accomplish this, the scientists initially needed to reconstruct the ancestral lineage of Ekmo Wechashala. This task was made easier with the identification of a related Chinese species known as Paleohodites, which is even older than Ekmo Wechashala. The discovery of this ancient Chinese counterpart sheds light on the presence of Ekmo Echashala in North America, revealing that it migrated from China rather than evolving locally. The primary focus of this particular undertaking is a fossil primate that has captured the attention of paleontologists for several decades. Kathleen Rust, a doctoral candidate in paleontology at KU's Biodiversity Institute and Natural History Museum, leads the research team. This primate stands out due to its distinct morphology and the fact that only dental remains have been discovered. Consequently, its placement on the evolutionary tree of mammals has been a topic of intense discussion and disagreement. While there has been a general consensus that it belongs to the primate classification, its sudden appearance and timing in the North American fossil record present a rather peculiar scenario. Surprisingly, this primate emerges more than four million years after the extinction of all other North American primates, which took place approximately 34 million years ago within the Great Plains. During the 1990s, Chris Beard, a highly esteemed professor and curator of vertebrate paleontology at KU Foundation, who also served as Rust's doctoral advisor and co-author, conducted a fossil collection expedition in the Bay's Basin, located in Guangxi, China. The fossils he discovered in the Nadu Formation bore a striking resemblance to the Ekmoe Chashala specimens found in North America. At that point in time, Ekmoe Chashala had gained a reputation for being perplexing and mysterious among paleontologists in North America. Upon our work in that location, we were completely unaware that we would stumble upon a creature closely related to the peculiar primate native to North America. However, the moment I laid eyes on the jaw, I instantly recognized it and thought, this is it. There was no need for extensive analysis or lengthy deliberation. We knew exactly what we had discovered. Among the invaluable fossils in KU's collection, we possess a crucial piece, the finest upper molar of Ekmoe Kashala ever found in North America. Its distinctiveness and striking resemblance to the one unearthed in China solidify our findings beyond any doubt. Rust was entrusted by Beard to carry out the morphological analysis, which successfully linked Ekmo Wichashala and its relative Paleohodites from China in a phylogenetic tree, thereby establishing their evolutionary connections. During his research, 
Rust was able to make significant discoveries regarding the origins of Ekmawichashala in Nebraska, shedding light on how this primate species managed to survive for millions of years after its counterparts became extinct, as evidenced from the continent's fossil record. According to Rust, a significant amount of morphological data was gathered to construct an evolutionary tree. This was achieved by using phylogenetic reconstruction software and algorithms. The resulting evolutionary tree shows a strong evolutionary link between North American Ekmoa Chashala and Paleohodites from China, which were first identified by Chris and his team in the 1990s. The results of our analysis undeniably support this hypothesis. The researchers from KU have expressed their enthusiasm regarding their findings, which not only involve the identification of a previously unknown primate species from the late Eocene in China, but also shed light on the origin of Ekmawechashala. Through their thorough investigation, the researchers have determined that Ekmawechashala did not evolve from an older primate species in North America that managed to survive the adverse climatic conditions that led to the extinction of other North American primates. Instead, they have discovered that its ancestors migrated across the Beringian region millions of years later, foreshadowing the path that would later be taken by the first Native Americans. According to Rust, our examination discredits the notion that Ekmawechashala is a remnant or survivor of previous primate species in North America. Rather, it is an immigrant species that originated in Asia and made its way to North America during a remarkably cold period, most likely by crossing Beringia. When a species like Ekmawechashala emerges abruptly in the fossil record long after its relatives have become extinct, it is commonly known as a Lazarus taxon named after the biblical character who was miraculously revived from death. According to Beard, the Lazarus effect in paleontology occurs when we discover evidence in the fossil record of animals that were believed to have gone extinct, only to reappear after a significant period of time. This phenomenon is a prominent feature in the evolution of North American primates. The initial arrival of primates in North America took place approximately 56 million years ago during the Eocene Epoch, and they thrived on this continent for over 20 million years. However, their existence came to an end around 34 million years ago when the climate became colder and drier during the Eocene-Oligocene boundary. After a span of several million years, a primate named Ekmawechashala emerged, reminiscent of a lone gunslinger in a Western film but it was short-lived in the broader context of evolution. Following Ekmawechashala's disappearance for more than 25 million years, the Clovis people arrived in North America, marking the third chapter in the presence of primates on this continent. Similar to Ekmawechashala, humans in North America exemplify the Lazarus effect. The collaborative effort of Rust Beard, Shi Jun Ni from the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, and Kristen Tietjen, a scientific illustrator with the KU Biodiversity Institute and Natural History Museum contributed to this work. Rust argues that the story of Ekmawechashala is significant due to its occurrence during a period of significant environmental and climatic shifts, similar to the current era shaped by human activities, making it worthy of people's attention. Understanding the response of previous biota to these transitions is of utmost importance, according to her. Organisms in such circumstances generally have two options. Either adapt by seeking refuge in more favourable areas with abundant resources, or face complete annihilation. Approximately 34 million years ago, none of the primates in North America were able to successfully adapt and survive. The conditions in North America were simply not conducive to their survival. This highlights the critical role that accessible resources play in the survival of our non-human primate counterparts during periods of significant climate change. Rust explained that the study is a crucial component of a broader narrative, encompassing the earliest stages of our evolutionary progress, which ultimately culminated in the emergence of our own species. She expressed that comprehending this story is not only a humbling experience, but it also enables us to truly value the profoundness and intricacy of our ever-changing planet. This understanding grants us the ability to fully grasp the intricate mechanisms of the natural world, the immense impact of evolution in the emergence of life, and the significant role played by environmental factors. 
To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.